Hi. Okay. I am here today to show you this amazing bag from Cloud and Victory. This one. Yes, and it does say doing it for pizza. Olive really wants to be a part of this video, I think, so this is Olive. Just thought I'd let you guys know. But I am here to talk to you guys about this bag that I love. I'm gonna go quickly through what is in my dance bag. So I will warn you guys that I'm known to carry around a lot of stuff. I will also post information in the description below. Number one, water bottle. This one is from a company called Public Goods, which is a really cool company. You guys should check that out. Um, I usually carry around a sewing kit. We got some scissors, we have my darning thread, and the embroidery thread that I use to sew ribbons and elastics. Typical sewing kit. I always have point shoes with me, obviously. Part of the job, I guess. Usually I will say that I just kind of tie them together like this and throw them around the outside of my bag and that way they dry out when I'm not wearing them. But if you guys travel around a lot, something that I love about this bag, they have this compartment right here. This opens up and its sole purpose, I have a toe spacer in there, sole purpose is uh, for your shoes so that it keeps your stinky, smelly shoes, not saying your feet stink, but you know, sometimes mine do, in a separate compartment. So if I were to carry this around, if maybe I was in a dance school and had to bring my stuff home every day, I would absolutely use this compartment and I still do from time to time, just to keep it all separate. And check this out, they even have little ventilation. She thought of everything, men thought of everything. Proud and victory, man. Next. I will show you guys my um, bag of balls. I keep some random massage tools in this bag. It's kind of my catch-all. This one is a TP massage ball. We have the double balls from Flexi Stretcher that I absolutely love. It's like awesome for massaging the neck and the spine. We have different TheraBands. Actually, I think they're the same TheraBand, just cut up differently. And then we have more balls from Flexi Stretcher. These are for feet. I'm sure you could use them for other things too. Hi, Olive. And then we have tape, and I absolutely adore this tape. Sorry, we're getting all the animals in here today. They are very excited about this bag. I use this kind of stretchy tape for my toe pads, and they last probably about a week when I wrap them all up and make them. So I always have extra Excuse me, do you mind if I um, show the people? Thank you. As I was saying, I always have extra with me and I throw it in this little bag. And then this is one of those inflatable uh, workout. Ha. Inflatable workout thingies. So, you know, you do stuff with this like the workout stuff. I use it sometimes. Also from Flexi Stretcher. It's really good actually, when I use it, when I'm not lazy. And the best part is it deflates. Dogs love it. Yes, I know, it's very exciting. And then I can put it right back in my little baggie. What else do we have? We have another bag that I keep my flat shoes in. Although now that I'm thinking about it, I could probably just keep it in the compartment that's for the flat shoes. I should rethink my life a little bit. These are block flat shoes. They're the stretchy kind. And then I keep my toe pads and my toe spacers, which I always have extras in this little baggie. All right, we also have another bigger massage tool. This one is also from Trigger Point. Good for everything, especially the psoas. Really good for that. I have a couple different bands in here. So I have my Gainer Minden stretch band that I love to use mainly for side splits. I just kind of throw it on, wrap around my feet, and lie down. You can use it for a lot of other things. It's good for exercising and all sorts. I also have another stretch band. This one is from Flexi Stretcher. I particularly tend to work on my arabesque. Comes with a little baggie. Um, so this one's very fancy, has little neoprene sleeves so that you don't hurt your shoulder. Uh, you have the foot or hand straps. So you can use this for exercising, for stretching, for all sorts of things. Another thing I love to carry around with me is this Chakot balance board. Bye Olive. 
it's basically just kind of a squishy material that you can stand on and it really helps with the small muscles in the feet and um, helps with stability. Something else that I usually have in my dance bag is either shorts or a skirt. Uh, it's usually this one that is a good one from good one from Design by Alice. She's based in the UK and I think I found her before I went to London, but anyway, her skirts are great. I love the shape and she's always coming out with different patterns and I highly recommend it. We also have a foot stretcher which I love and couldn't live without. My feet are not the best, so I stretch my feet regularly. So this one you can connect like this. It's actually one of their later models, so it's a bit smaller, it's a bit more portable. It's actually called The Foot Stretcher, and it's from a company called Improve Dance, which is a great company. They have turning boards and other things as well. So I use this foot stretcher very often. That is everything in the big compartment. Then there are so many great little side pockets and internal pockets. So on the inside, I keep some makeup. I have a little powder foundation. I have lipstick in here, chapstick, some little elastic bands that I use to keep my warm-ups or skirts on if they're a little bit too big around the waist. On the outside pocket, I usually have my AirPods and then I will also keep my cell phone in there too. And then on this other pocket, I have my hairpins, this cute little Madison case that I've actually had for probably over 10 years. Um, I keep my jet glue in there because it keeps it straight. And then I have some mints, so I kind of squish the jet glue in there so that it doesn't tip over. Um, San Francisco Ballet provides us with jet glue that's called hot stuff right now, if you guys were wondering. So let's see. Oh, and then the coolest compartment is this one, which is actually lined with plastic. You can use it for sweaty dance clothes, but what I like to use it for is uh, some of my liquids that I like to carry around. So I carry around a little bougie face toner that moisturizes my skin. This one's from Campari. Um, I also keep a foot spray. You always need a foot spray, you know? Sometimes the feet smell. You're working all day, sometimes they smell. So I keep a foot spray in there. I keep my deodorant, Voltrol cream for those aches and pains. And it's basically just anything that if it explodes or if it leaks, it's not a big deal because of the plastic lining. I can just wipe it down. And I've currently been keeping my hairbrush in there, which now, if I think about it, if things explode and it gets my hairbrush wet, maybe that's not the best idea. But that's what I've been doing. So yeah, as you can see, this bag holds a lot of stuff, but it's really lightweight by itself. The material is great, the design is fantastic, and it's really going to last you a long time. Um, it's very quickly become my favorite dance bag. Hi, Karen. It also has an extra strap, so if you prefer, rather than to carry it with these two, you can do it kind of messenger style. I don't have that strap with me, but it just hooks on really easily right here. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing all the stuff that I carry around with me in my dance bag. And I highly suggest you go check out Cloud and Victory. Uh, Min is amazing, her posts are hilarious, and she also creates phenomenal products that are eco-friendly and really just great quality. So go check her out, Cloud and Victory, and thanks for watching.